some people don't understand how it is to live in dread and fear. Hallelujah. Always worrying, always wondering. Oh Lord. Who is going to come? Hallelujah. And take it all from you. Destroy and wipe you out. But I found my safety. <laughs> oh yes, my God. Lord. Anybody, anybody? Yeah. Hallelujah. I found my hiding place in you. whispered in my ear and told me son you'll never be alone hallelujah and I know that's the place he's been keeping me hallelujah hallelujah oh, oh, oh. Jesus. thank you Lord hallelujah 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 that's the place he's been keeping
Powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. And we render them powerless right now. He got no power over us. Friendship with the world is enmity with God. Those who make themselves friends of the world are enemies of God. It's a new arising. You have called us out from among them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank and you have spoken your word Hallelujah. that sanctifies us. Thank you. That set us apart yes, from sinners and the ungodly. Yes, sir. It's a new arising. Yes, so if anyone be in Christ, yes, he's a new creation. All things are passed away, and behold, all things are made new. Come on, somebody. We claim that newness, Lord. There's no newness in sin. There's no newness with sinners. But there's newness with the saints. Glory to God. You call us saints in the Lord. Sinners, no more slaves, but friends of God, children of the most high God. Hallelujah! Come on, somebody, worship! Come on, somebody, worship! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And you rise up. It's a new rising. Whoa. It's a new rising. Hallelujah. You make all things new, Lord. You come in our lives afresh to you. Whatever things that the enemy has projected into our lives to contaminate, to pervert, to obstruct, to warp, to defy. The work that you're doing in us. Yes, God. My God. Hallelujah. We resist those things. We submit to you, to your word, and to your Holy Spirit. The devil's got no power over us. Because he has no power over the word, no power over you, and no power over your Holy Spirit. Those who submit to your Holy Spirit always win. Always. Oh, Always. Hallelujah. Good will always conquer evil. Hallelujah. Light will always be powerful than darkness. Thank you, Lord. Making all things new now. Yes, God. Dispatch your angelic coast from the north, the south, the east, and the west, inland and overseas, and overthrow the works of darkness now. Uproot, derail, and destroy In the name of Jesus. every work of Satan. In the name of Jesus. You said, For this purpose, yes, Christ was manifest. Yes. To destroy the works of the yes, devil. Yes, yes, God. Hallelujah. Sin is partnership with the devil. But your righteousness is partnership with you. Yes, God. 
You're the God of righteousness. Yes, God. I Workers of iniquity shall perish. Evil shall slay the wicked. Them that hate God shall flee away. Men like wax in your presence. Come on, God. You're a consuming fire. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Your angel, the coast, put them under arrest. Yes, God. Yes. Every encroaching yes, spirit. Yes. I've been prowling around your people. Yes. Smite them with the sword of your spirit. When they say safety and peace and safety, let sudden destruction come upon them. Yes, you say the wicked spring up like bale tree. Oh, God. Ah, but we will search for them and not find them. They'll be cut down, rooted up. Not even the place. Oh, God. My God, yes, where they were rooted up from will leave the, the sign. For you are God. Your ears are open to the cry of the righteous. But your face is set against the wicked. Oh, Shamasa. Kora Mama Masetu. Smite the enemy. Drive him back into outer darkness. Into uninhabited places. Desolate place, dry places. He has no right in our midst. We are not here to cohabit with devils. The sword of the Lord is strong. Let it through, Lord. Crush them under our feet. Scorpion and serpent. Jagan and Leviathan. Nice some pestilence. Unclean spirits render them powerless. Disembodied spirits that are used as tools for Satan. We tear upon them now. Cause them to flee. You said the wicked flee when no man pursued. But the righteous are as bold as a lion. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Crush every seed the enemy has sown. Every trap and snare, fly them now. Every curse, enchantment, divination, spells, and hexes render powerless now. Cause them to backfire, misfire, and self destruct. In the name of Jesus, let the curse they have released fall on their own heads. Let the pit they have dug first, let them fall into it. Let the gallery have set first, let them hang on it. Let the beast they have prepared for us devour them. Let the fire they have lit burn upon them. Turn them one upon the other. Confound their speech. Confuse their. Their the, the diabolic dreams and scams. In the name of Jesus. And render them powerless. Aha, as dust under our feet. In the name of Jesus. So let them be. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You have given us power over all unclean spirits. To cast them out. Yes, 
and to heal all manner of sicknesses and diseases. And we exert that authority now yes, God. against all the whole stuff here. Yes, sir. Back off them. In the name of Jesus. We smite you with the sword of this world. We smite you in the head. Yes, sir. We break out your teeth. In the name of Jesus. Pull out your sting. In the name of Pull out your fangs. In the name of Pierce Jesus. through your eyes and your mouth. Break your job one. Crush your sting. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pull out your hooks. Yes, God. Break your claws. Yes, God. Break every chain. Yes, God. Every ties. Yes, God. You have put upon the people of God. Yes, God. We sever them now. They fall off. They shed off. They are cut off. The sword of the spirit. Word of God is sharper than any twigged sword. Cut every demonic ties. Soul ties. Compromise. Seducing spirits. Perverse spirits. We shut them down. Witchcraft and necromancy, spiritism, occult spirits, idolatrous spirits, greed and sexual immorality, we chop you down. Yes. We'll find no root in this place. Yes. In the name of Jesus, let our fire go before us now, Lord, and burn up all the enemies. Cut and clear the way. Yes, God. In the name of Disappoint. Yes, God. The enemy's plans. Yes, God. Let every dirty fire at us boomerang back on the hills. Yes, God. Run about, shall I? Every curse yes, turn back in your belly like yes, conqueror. God. Oh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Reverse. In the name of Jesus. Every curse. Glory to God. Reverse every spirit. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic agreement. Demonic seed. In the name of Jesus. Ah. Demonic conspiracy. Render null and void in this house. Demon and covenants are broken. Hey, Jesus name. We sever them in the name of Jesus. And release your angelic host to guard the spirit you have entrusted to us. At home, at work, and in our ministry, in our going out and in our coming in. Hallelujah. In our going out and in our coming in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Crush the enemy. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Set our appointments yes, now. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Set our itinerary. Yes, God. Set our appointments according to your calendar. Hallelujah. According to your divine will and purpose. Yes, hey, cause us to miss yes, demonic appointments. Yes, Miss demonic hookups and connections. Grant us accuracy, precision in our works, in our walk that align with your kingdom. In the name of Jesus, make over everything the enemy has tampered with. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
it melt away fade away fall away rooted up and scattered let it become as a chaff that the wind drives away in the name of Jesus now surround us Lord with your grace and your faith you are our help and our shield yes God our strong tower our deliverer yes, Lord. there is nothing too hard for you you know all things thank you Lord you see all things yes. and we put it all into your hands yes, and we trust you yes, for the outcome yes, thank you. Thank you. in the name of Jesus mighty deliverer Hallelujah. mighty breakthrough yeah. Yes, God, cut to every ambush. Yes, God, every blockage, every wall the enemy has erected. Yes, God, let it fall like the wall of Jericho. Yes, God, every sea has raised up. My God, part it like the rich. Yes, Lord, God. Bring us into our divine destiny yes, and purpose that we have declared yes, long before the foundation of this earth. Hallelujah. Let your kingdom come. Yes, Let your will be done. For yours is the kingdom, yes, the power, yes, and the glory forever. And ever. And ever. And ever, amen. Come on, give God the praise. Praise of a praise. Praise of a praise.
over us. Yes, God. You know what we need. Before we even ask. You said when we seek first your kingdom and all your righteousness, all these things. is the children's grace. You have a right to heal it. Don't let the devil convince you you got to live with it. Don't let the devil convince you it's like God. The Lord is the healer. Hallelujah. He says, I am the Lord that you let me. Yes, Lord God. Hallelujah. He can do far greater work than man can do. We can trust in him. He release perfect healing to you. in his word and meditate in his word and so shall you have good success so you'll prosper so you'll be like trees planted by rivers of water that bring forth fruit in your season whose leaves will not wither and whatsoever you do it will prosper come on that's the word of the Lord come on somebody Believe in the word of King of Victory right now. Hallelujah. Believe in the word of King of Victory right now. Hallelujah. Divine shift. Divine turnaround. Hey, signs and wonders. Miracles. Coming your way right now. I'm tall on sea. Miracles. on the job yes. and he never fails oh he never fails yes. glory to God In the name of Jesus. glory to God Hallelujah. just wave those hands and bless him thank you Jesus thank you Lord thank you. Thank you, Jesus. come on thank him from your spirit thank, you, Jesus. thank him from your soul thank, you, Jesus. thank him from your heart Hallelujah. for what you know and what you're yet to know for things you have seen and things you have yet seen. Things you have heard and things you have told you. But God is worthy of the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name. Come on, give him the praise. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. you to focus on all the negative things that is doing and happening in your life but when you focus on what God is doing one songwriter said when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me my soul cries out hallelujah come on somebody because there must be a praise when you think about the goodness of the Lord and all the trials the devil been bringing you is for you to forget the goodness of the Lord. But you must remember, David said, I'll remember the goodness of the Lord. Praise God. And because of that, he said, well, I bless the Lord at all times and his praises 
shall continually be in my mouth. Come on, somebody. So you have to know to speak to your soul and say, soul, why are thou disquieted? Why are you cast down within me? Hope in God. Hallelujah. And yet will I praise him. Come on, somebody. You set your heart on what God's going to do for you and not what the devil is doing against you. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Come on, somebody. Don't think negative, negative thoughts only wear down your strength. Suck, suck dry your joy and leave you bankrupt in faith. Hello, somebody. But God wants you to increase in faith. Uh, that's why you have to increase in faith, deliverance ministry, man. God wanted to increase. Wanted to what? Increase in faith. And it is good to increase in faith. Come on, somebody. Don't stay at the same faith level where the devil left you at the last time. Because when he recognized he didn't win you at that level, he's coming back with more help. That's what the word of God said when the demon was cast out of a man. The demon didn't come back by himself to come live there. He realized he was cast out because it was him one. But this time he didn't come in to live. He's not coming to live him one. He didn't come with company. And he didn't come with company more wicked than himself. So he said he got seven more wicked spirits. No, so. More wicked than him to come. See? So he says the latter stage of the man was worse than the first. In other words, he want that man to believe it is better than anybody to get me cast out. Can you see how much are we living you now? You get it? So when persons say, yes man, I got delivered and they don't build their faith and their walk in the Lord, in the house of God. Because some believe they can build it by themselves. So when Jesus was telling Peter, say, feed my sheep. Peter, no need to feed them. God, they name the sheep, they are right. <laughs> but you know, so that's not what Jesus said to Peter. No, true. Right, so Jesus know that he have sheep, but Jesus said to Peter, say, feed my sheep. In other words, say, the sheep need your care. I'm leaving them into your hand. Come on now. That's why I say feed them. Yeah? You must provide ground for them. Also. Let me say, then go, go sheep, sheep, go feed by them, sell them, eat. Plastic and buckle and stick with bite them. Come on now. Are they grazing through a field that has not been cared for and examined before by a shepherd to take them on it? They're just going out into uncharted field without any covering. And it's a deadly thing for a sheep to do that. No matter how much a sheep is of the Lord, when he look up a lion, lion not going and spear him. Lion never spearing Jesus when Jesus coming now go spear him. Jesus was called the Lamb of God, not true. And when the lion buck him up, what happened? <laughs> he said, The lamb that was slain. That was not let's talk about Jesus. No? Lamb that was slain. Oh, you want to be a lamb slain, you go and play. Play with the lion and see if you can't escape because you say, I'm a lamb of God. I think he says, So this thing works. You understand? The Lord appoints shepherds. The Lord appoints what? Shepherds to his people. He appoints watchmen because are, he elevates them over the sheep. The, the Peter is not on the same level with the sheep. That's why the Lord said, I set you over them. You must give account for their souls. Those who are sheep not giving account for the, for the prophets and apostles' souls. Is this pastor giving account for their soul? Because the Lord set him over them. Huh? When we have church, we have a platform. The, the, the apostles and prophets and pastors and teachers stand on it. Say, we just stand on it because we just want looking over you. It's God set it up so. Everything in the physical that God told him to build in the temple, it said it had a mirror reflection of what was in the heavenlies. So when God told Moses to build a temple, he told him, he said, use the same specifications I give you. 
Why? Because he's making a pattern of something in the heavenlies that already exists. You get it? That's why Lord said, build it just like that. Huh? Having the outer courts, the inner courts, the holy place, and the holies of holies. He's showing him, say, it have different levels. Different chambers, different areas in it. It's not one all for all. Uh -uh. To understand principles. No, so, hello. Yes, I have to understand the principles. Because if you don't understand those principles, the devil take advantage of you. The devil overpower you. You think, say, you by yourself with your faith, I go make it like enough sense. Eh? You say, by themselves, they can't use faith and fight off any devil. And they don't need no, no shepherd to fight off the devil. They can't fight off it by themselves. Because they know God themselves. What, see what happened to them? Because God never put no sheep. You go face no wolf, you know. That's why I give them shepherd. And that's why I say, when the shepherd or the watchman sound the alarm, the sheep must gather. Now so, come into the place of safety. Because the watchman sound the alarm, wolf! Now so, but you know, they, they, they baby in a wolf face. You think you say, wolf, go free of your baby. Need to understand something, but we didn't tell him, you know. But they never take me still. They want to go prove it for themselves, so we make some some go prove themselves. You know, they prove themselves. Yeah, all right. So prove for yourself, because they say, "Ah, they spit me." Yeah, that means say if you took the instruction, you could have avoided it. But because you want to go prove it yourself, go find it out yourself. But when you find out, you can help yourself. That's why you're given leadership. Ah, if you don't lead leadership, God not giving it to you, you know. You don't understand the principle. Right, so the reason God give you leadership is that if you're doing it yourself, you have a way in your mind, you say to go and do it. But God give you a leader to make you do it the way or the leader tell you to do it. So change you from doing it your way. That's why you get leadership, you know. If you're going to do it your way, you wouldn't need leadership. You could just do it yourself. You get it? Yes, when you're praying by yourself, it's not the same thing. Like when you're praying with a congregation, it have leadership. When you're singing by yourself, it's not the same thing like when you're singing with a congregation. It have leadership. When you're worshiping by yourself, it's not the same thing like when you're worshiping with a congregation. It have leadership. They choose this song and they go and lead you into. You don't choose it when you're doing it. When you're doing it by yourself, you choose it. So leadership must make a difference in how you do it. If you keep doing it like say, there's no leader, then when we come, they sing, uh, near my God to the you did they say, I'm going to sing, I'm going to sing. I'm going to shout, shout, shout. You stay creating confusion. You see, you're doing it to God, but God going to look at you as the unruly one. And Paul said, mark the unruly one among you. Mark them. What do you think is their mark? A mark for destruction. If they don't hear, they go and feel it. Because God is not a God of disorder. And he said, everything in the house must be done decent and in order. Huh? God is not the art of confusion the devil is. Hello? Yes, man. So we have to understand how God operates because he said we must be imitators of God as his dear children also. Right, so even in the Godhead, there is order. The Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God, yet still the Son is saying what the Father say, and the Holy Spirit is saying what the Father say. So the, the Son say he's not speaking of his own authority. What the Father tell him, that's what he say. And the Holy Spirit, Jesus said when he comes, he will not speak on his own authority. What he hears, he will speak. So you see, that's how the three of them operate as one. They have one leader they listen to, you know. is the father. The God they have leadership. So though the son is God, like God who is the father, the son listen to what the father say and obey what the father say. And the Holy Spirit obey what the father say. The son don't tell the father what to do. The son go by what the father say. The Holy Spirit don't tell the Father what to do. The Holy Spirit go by what the Father say. That's why I say the Holy Spirit doesn't speak of his own authority. He will lead you in all truth. Why? 
He says, for he will not speak on his own authority. In other words, if he spoke on his own authority, saying what he feels to say apart from what the Father said, it would not be truth. Truth must be consistent in not to vary. It must be your opinion and my opinion and somebody's opinion. My view, your view, and God's view, and everybody have a view. No, he says, one view, it must go to. One we, God. Get it? One. So he set the order that we can understand how to operate as his children. Now, sir, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. If there's not order in the church, then we give room to Satan to come in and take away every progress we have made. Every forward step we make get pushed back because there's this order. So that's why the saints must maintain order. Hello. They must operate as children under authority. Not children having their own way and say, God is my father. God is my father. So you can't do it. God is my father. No. If God is your father, that's why you submit to him and hear what he's telling you to do. No, so, Right? So the, 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 the centurion said about Jesus that he noticed that he's also a man under authority. Because he said, when Jesus said, go, men go. When he speaks, a man heal, man get healed. When he said, come, man come. So he said, same way I am a man also under authority. When I said to men, go, they go. When I said, come, they come. So he said, you don't need to come to my house or my, my servant to be healed. Just speak the word only. And Jesus marveled that a Gentile, a Roman soldier, is called a centurion who ruled over 100 soldiers. That Roman soldier knew more about the gospel of the kingdom than the Jews who were in covenant with God because he understand authority. He understand kingdom. He never understand their religion, but he understand kingdom. And that caused him to have faith with the Lord. Say, you, I have not seen so much faith, not in all Israel. That is a rebuke to Israel, you know. When people who are in covenant with God showing less faith than those who are not. It's a rebuke. Come on now. You got it? Yes, so we have to push for that. That's why Paul said we must pursue the unity in the saints. Pursue what? Unity among us because what the devil is aiming to divide us. The word of God said it. That, that if a kingdom is divided against itself, it cannot stand. A house is divided against itself, it cannot stand. A nation divided against itself cannot. You say any body of people that are divided against itself cannot stand. See it? So, so God called you out from amongst the world not to be together with them. Huh? But to be a separate, called out. Huh? Called out to live. In a way that so you're of a holy nation. It's not, it's not unclean nation we come to become one with. God called us and say you're a holy nation. So you are called out people separate from the world. God did that separation. When he called it to righteousness and them refused to come. You get it? Yes, so, so, so he, he's consecrated and separated our people to himself. So the people who are separated to himself, call the body of Christ, must not be divided. They must be united. The world can be divided, but not the church. You got it? Because they now must have the spirit of Christ within them, and Christ is not divided. Get it? Oh, Jesus, get it. Yes, man, talk like you the answer. Praise God, because we know, say, the word of God is quick, and it's, yeah, man, it's powerful. So if you activate the faith with the word, something supernatural is going to happen for you. What do you say? Hallelujah. You believe you got it tonight? You got your healing? You got your miracle? God is moving on your behalf? It's turning around? Oh, God Almighty. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
Praise God. And I believe it's already done. We just encourage you, you know, to stay focused. Huh? And let us remember that we are one in the body of Christ. So let us not let the devil give cause to divide us. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. You take the cause and swap to you. Because I'm telling you, if you make the devil give you cause to, to divide us, and we go divide you. Know, and you go divide and get cut off. Right? So we're telling you, you need to understand your position in the body. Because God put me solid in this body. Hallelujah. So you have to understand your position in the body to make sure you are rightly positioned. You're what? Definitely. Praise God. And by doing so, you secure your position in the body of Christ and the reward that is due to you in the body of Christ. Amen. Yes, man. Anything God will listen to you, it coming through the head. Never see God a ninth foot uh, uh, go up to head. And I'm from head go down to foot. Understand? And that's all the anointing left from Christ to us and from us to you. Because Christ set up authority in the body. Leadership under him. In the body. So he's still running that way, you know. It's harder. Yeah. It's harder. So you need to understand all the order in the body of Christ operate otherwise we end up outside looking in. And that's not a good place to be. Hello, come on, because the devil, your ear sister, um, Prophetess Shavil was talking, say, the devil was trying to wear outside, and then the Lord sure I say, why the devil was trying to wear outside? To kill her. But as long as you stay inside, you can't get to her. You better understand that. And that don't mean say, just physically being in the house, no. Because, um, Sister Ricketts is not physically in the house. What she under covering? Rear brad. And up to her ungodly husband, her ungodly daughter. How oh, did they get her trouble? When they lick down and she said, Call for me, I pass a prayer, then heal and they restore. Though they didn't cost me, then still get healed and delivered. Because the word of God said, The believing wife can sanctify the unbelieving husband. This is the word, you know. You get it? Yes, so if you in this house, people in your house is benefiting from you being in this house. You know? So if you maintain your position accurately in this house, they gain the benefit. But if you make them swear you, you and them going for all, you know. I know me and you and them, and you and them. Because the Lord led you here for that covering. That's why you're under this covering. Yeah. Yes, and that's why the Lord led you to this house. You don't need to be in this house to be under the covering of God. But if God say, this is where I point you and you don't want to be here, you still can't claim his covering when you're in disobedience to him. That's the key. So it's not so much me. It's still about God. So you have to understand that principle, otherwise you get it mixed up and put yourself in trouble. They will woo you out and say, come on, nothing not do you. When they go and look at them all who know God, come on, show them, say, all right. That's why they will do it out there. Hello. <laughs> when you don't do a work, you have to look good if I just see him one. Hello, somebody. You better understand that. There's an anointing that come on you when you step in this place and people in here can't see it. You know what People in here can't see it. You think that they only have to see you and they greet you. Then you can see it. And when you not do that, then you say, look, your phone here and say, everybody there, look, give me some eye. I may not understand. Because you switch. So you get eye. You don't know say, ask me, you know what kind of church you come. When you switch, you could have come the king to do the way you look your phone. Because you know say, some switch. You come bright and have a soon you come. Look like dark cloud over you. When you can rain cloud, they fall upon you alone and sun, they shine upon everybody else. Then I must open your phone. Amen. Praise God. And so we know because it's spiritual. He it said, the spiritual judge things that are spiritual. 
Those who are made from the spirit can see things in the spirit. That's all. Uh -huh. Praise God. So when we in the spirit, we can sense when things in the spirit shift. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. So me have to get chained all right, you know. What you say? Me have to chained all right, man, because you want to know, understand the thing. So you know, start to force some fight with each other and say, me never like the eye they wouldn't give me. You wouldn't get the eye, go check yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. No, so go, go in your closet and talk to God and say, God, I saw me do what baby gone, Lord. What me know say for another day. Everybody just say this stand show me and they look on me for they don't have worship. They don't have increase in faith. I don't know what they go on down them. You know. Check yourself. No, so mm. because remember the connection we have is not in the flesh. It is in the spirit. So if a different spirit start to move with you, we going know. Hallelujah. Something going off. Ooh. Hallelujah. So we want you to keep in tune. So the word of God says, pursue the unity. What are they talking about? The unity of the saints. Because the devil knows that if he divides us, he also weakens our position. Not true. Right, so we got to fight the good fight off. Yes. You know, say somebody can come and see you off and laugh with you and play with you and they're not with you anymore. Yes. And some can stay far from you because of things they get involved with and it's hard still with you. They just, it's just activities and things that keep them away. So it's not like they hide anything from you. Depart, but it's just things keep them away. So, so it's not about... When we're saying that we're not talking about how often you come at church and how often we see you really, though you should come often, but we're talking about the connection we have in the spirit. And if that gone, you're on your own. You understand? Right, so we're teaching you how to build accurately. When you out there, if you're, if you're, if you're, uh, uh, connecting with the world and agreeing with the world and connecting with wrong views that oppose the Lord and the church, it's, it's going to set you off when you come back. It's going to set you off. So we want you to understand you need to get in tune with the spirit to keep that unity in the faith. No, so that when we connect, we, we not struggle for worship together. Some they worship, some sit down, some want to sleep, some they look out the door. Yeah? Because when you come with the same heart and same mindset, you come to achieve the same objective. So that's what they would say that the people who are in the upper room, they are of one mind, one heart. That's all. And they were fervently seeking the opening of the Holy Spirit. So that's why it was so awesome when the Holy Spirit come. Because they, they were as one. Not so. But when some come for worship, some not come for worship. Come, some come because they just want to come for say, men come. And some come say, boy, I just come for show me face. Come for see one sister, come and have something you want to talk to her about. Then you're not going to really come for worship. And you're going to miss out on what God wants to do for you. Oh, Jesus. We don't care and say this. I don't know I'm half dead. Right? So the thing is that when you understand that principle, then you push out, then you what? Yes, you push your that in other words, you have a greater response to the things of God. And those who so greater response reap greater reward. Yeah. Yes, the Lord said that about the woman who came with the alabaster box. He said that to Simon, say, those who are forgiven little will, 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 will show little love, but those who are forgiven much will show much love to whom much is given. So did the Lord forgive you of much? Or did the Lord just forgive you of a little? So oh, it must show. You see what I'm talking about? Eh, eh, eh. Eh? 
So, so you must have the response because faith have a response, you know. Faith is not non-responsive. Hey, talk some people in here. You hear me say? You hear me say? Eh? That is not faith, you know. That is what is called dead faith. See what I'm talking about? He said, that is called dead faith. Eh? You see what I mean? I have to repeat it because your response is slow. Any response is slow, you mean you're not really did it. You have to repeat everything for your hearing. Oh Jesus. And then they say, pray for me, so I go home and everything all right. It's not gonna work for you, so you know. You have to be in tune with the spirit, it's not magic. You can pray a hundred prayers for you, and nothing will work for you. I pray one for somebody online and they get one thousand miracles. Whole year, they need to move me from the one time I pray for them. But they pray for you every week and nothing can move you yet. Your faith needs to respond. When your faith is lazy and your lazy respond, you did it. More than they groan like a belly one and say, You're not getting nothing from God. Uh, God see your response to me as your response to Him, you know. Your things ain't see it any difference. He go tell you so. He go say, all oh, you respond to him is all oh, you respond to me. Whatsoever you do to the least of these, that you do unto me. No, that's what God said. You stay there to ponder the thing, because if you don't get it, you're just not going to get it. Eh? That's all. Right, so we're teaching you to have the proper response, because if you don't have the proper response, it's going to hurt you. And it's going to hurt your family. And then you go on to be sorry to say hurt your family. But when they tell you a long time, and you never when they hear. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. My God. So I'm praying for you to rise up. Hallelujah. I'm praying for you to become sensitive to the move and the working of the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Because when you get slothful, it gives the enemy opportunity to cause repercussions and damage to you that you should already escape. But because you're slow, you ever hear say too slow? Slow to respond, slow to move, slow to obey, slow to carry out the order. The devil take advantage of you because he's not slow enough. <laughs> ready, ready for the evening quick. You get it? So if you want the deliberate and the slow and the lele, you're giving the devil the opportunity to make God's word look like a lie. Ah. Hallelujah. So you have to stand up and fight. The good fight of. Hallelujah. Praise God. Somebody praise him in here. No, somebody praise him in here. Praise God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. All right. Time to release you. Give you a chance to sow as the Lord has laid upon your heart. Then you release you to this place. Praise God. Hallelujah. While you're doing so, I give the last word to those who are watching online. Those who are watching online and watching Increasing Faith Deliverance Ministries International. We are at 3 East Street, Montego Bay, Jamaica. I'm Apostle Richard Fagan declaring the gospel of Christ and his kingdom. There's a lot to learn, to uncover, to apply. We have not seen the best of it yet. There's a whole lot more coming. What God is pouring from in the church. And the Lord said he's pouring through Christ. Christ is washing the church with the word to present her faultless. You hear that word? The same word that they're afraid to use. <laughs> God said no church is perfect. That's not according to the Lord. The Lord said hold on. To present her without spot or wrinkle above reproach and without any spot or wrinkle or any such thing. Faultless. 
Come on. A glorious church. He said to present to himself. Not a church. Barely hanging on. Hoping say God comes soon. And hoping say they make it. That's not the kind of church the Lord is talking about. He said a glorious church. Come on. Hallelujah. And we know that even when John write to the seventh church. Two of the churches there were not rebuked about changing what they do for the Lord to come. Two church was there, the Lord says. Those church was just continue as they were. So he never found fault with all the seven of them. You need to check your Bible. So the Lord still believed that there is a church that's still keeping all that he tell him to do and doing it. And the Lord never leave himself without witness to confirm it is so. Amen. Hallelujah. So we want you to strive. To what? Strive. Come on. Push forward and understand that God is empowering you to do things way beyond your natural ability. By your natural ability, it cannot be done. But by the grace and power of God, it can be. Hallelujah. Because God is a perfect God and he's working through you. He will reveal himself, his perfection in you. Hallelujah. That's the grace that we come into in Christ. Amen. Praise God. So you want to hear more about that? Release a book that's called The Gospel of the Kingdom. Subtitled The Gospel that Jesus preached. A lot of things Christianity preaching that gospel of Jesus did not preach. Jesus preached a gospel that's called it. Word of the Kingdom. Gospel of the Kingdom of Heaven is what Jesus preached. Jesus did not preach heaven. He preached the Kingdom of Heaven. Kingdom of heaven is how kingdom heaven is governed. He said he's preaching that governance of how heaven is governed into the earth. That we use the same principles and tools that are called the secret, the mysteries of the kingdom of God. And he says those ministries are for you, his disciples, who is training and equipping for that age to come to reveal his glory and power through. Hallelujah. So he wants you to know this, and there's a lot more. So you can go on Amazon.com, type in the search box, Richard V. Fing, and a book will come up. It's called The Gospel of the Kingdom, subtitled The Gospel that Jesus Preached. It will be an eye-opener for every believer that wants to know deeper in the gospel. The word of God speaks about Apollos who preached the gospel, but he preached up to the point of baptism. But then Aquila and Priscilla met him at the were disciples taught by Paul. And taught him the word more accurately. And then he started to preach the word more accurately concerning the gospel of Christ. So it meant to further know to them, knowing and believing and being baptized in Jesus Christ. But then there's further gospel to show about the move and the work of the Holy Spirit. Huh? So he says, it doesn't stop there. The gospel has many different compartments. And what Paul is saying when he preached to people the gospel, he preached to them the whole gospel. Not a part of it and call it the whole. Like many are doing part and calling it the whole. Just ask God to forgive your sins and you're forgiven and you're gone to heaven and rest. That's the gospel. That's not the gospel. That's part of it. That's not the whole. And you need to hear the whole gospel. And so that's very powerful. You can look for that book on Amazon.com. Type in the search box Richard V. Fagan in the Amazon.com site. And of course the book will come up. You can order it anywhere around the world through Amazon.com or you can download it through the app Kindle. You can read it as an ebook on your device your, 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 and of course have it easy access to you and you can of course ask the Holy Spirit to unveil the hidden truths that are there that you can't take natural mind to discern but you need the help of the Holy Spirit to discern the hidden truths that are written there. It will not be as a mystery or a proverb to you but you will gain the full explanation and understanding as the Holy work with the Holy Spirit unveiling it in your heart. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So you can do that. If you want to get more of the teachings, send a friend's request to Richard Fagan on Facebook. He'll be plugged into our five live stream services on Facebook each week. We also edit it and put more scriptures to it on our YouTube channel. You can look that up on the other social pages that are on the screen. Connect with the links that are there. You can get more teachings from us. Also, you can check more about our church on our website, increasingfaithintl 
www.ohrg.org. That's our church's website, Increasing Faith, I N T L. Dot O-R-G. Praise God. And those who are blessed by this ministry and want to sow to the ministry can sow to the website. The information is there. We also have projects that we're working on long term and short term projects. The Lord prep in your spirit to connect with us in any one day that we want to push and launch to a new level. We believe together we can do more than we can apart. So who God has called to stand with us. We believe they should in obedience to the call of the Lord. The Lord know who is appointed to stand with us. And we know those who are with the Lord will stand with us according as the Lord has instructed them. Amen. Those who don't, of course, put things at risk that is pertaining to their relationship and what God has entrusted to them. So we wanted to be in obedience to the Lord as Mary said to the servants at the wine at the, the, the wedding. He said to her, whatever the Lord tells you to do, go and do it. Whatever it tells you to do, do it. It means that you should not treat any word from God as optional. Maybe you do it, maybe you don't. No, we say we live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Even Peter, when the Lord said he would wash his feet, Peter said, you're going to wash my feet. You will not wash my feet. And the Lord said, if I don't wash your feet, you will no longer be my disciple. That one act could have cut off Peter from the discipleship of Christ. One thing he said Jesus must not do would cut him off from everything else that he was doing that Jesus told him to do. Because he said really by every word, not some word, not most, every word that proceeds out of his mouth. Come on. That's what the Lord is teaching us. Obedience. And that will play a long role in our position in Christ Jesus and in the kingdom in age to come. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So those who want to get more teachings from us, been following the teachings here in the house, we have a love gift for you. That's called our daily devotional. That's day-to-day -day teachings in the house that was not live streamed, but we put it in script form, made it to an ebook, and edition it. In Monday edition, dated for each day, for each month. And we, of course, can give you as a package free, no cost attached. All you need to do is request it by the numbers on the screen. And numbers are 876-839-9390 or 876-557-2427 or 876-525-6757. Looking forward to hear from you. And to build your most holy faith in the Lord. Until next time, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. You bless tonight. Praise God. Time to release you. Hallelujah. Lift those hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord have up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. God bless you. Have a great night in the Lord. Of you all in Jesus' name.